everyone, this is Andrea with our Reborn Nest. Um, I would just want to pop on here very quickly and show you the Advent wreath or it's not really a wreath but it's a celebration of Advent that I just made today. Normally I have a wreath but I forgot all about getting one because of um, David's injury that has been kind of like a little bit more um, important for me to think of so let me show you what I did anybody can do this this is basically wine glasses you can put um, uh, pine cones or whatever you like in there and then these little trees I think I got those from Pottery Barn last year for another display and then um, something shiny like the shiny balls I don't know where I got those from probably oh yeah from our local boutique here and then you have the four candles so it's pretty simple just something shiny and pretty not so traditional but I threw this together in five minutes and because I wanted to light two candles today um, and then let me show zoom in here like I said before, I, we didn't do any much de much decorating yet, but here's our little Macy. He's already got his Santa hat on. And his little booties that I love. Whoops. Sorry, I just had a shower and I wanted to come on here to show you this little guy. He's so cute. He just looks great in everything. He really does. And I love this little... These little hats I got last year, but they came too late, so I never got to use them. And I have three of them, and they're all in different patterns. So I'm going to uh, show the all three babies with them on in the next couple of days. But these booties, where did I get these? I think Zara. I think, yeah, I think Zara. And they're really cute, too, with the little pom-poms. So sweet. So um, here's my little coffee, my little way done mug. No holiday is complete without it in my eyes. So I just want to um, quickly go over something that I just um, that just occurred to me, or that I was just made aware of. Okay, so so last night. I made or I uploaded a video and about the packing of Mia and uh, this morning I didn't go to bed till about six o'clock in the morning because I was talking to my daughter who is in California and she like I was saying yesterday she's moving so she was still packing and she was like you know doing last minute stuff and so was I so I went to bed at six o'clock this morning I woke up at like noon and David comes and says oh did you see there's like some comments on your video and I'm like oh that's great it's like yeah there's one from you didn't know who the, who the woman was uh, it's Julie from the bunny cottage and he's like oh you need to um, watch this video because it's pretty interesting what she had to say and so basically I saw it and I read it and I actually took a screenshot of it too because of what the subject matter was. I kind of had a feeling that it would be taken down by her at one point or another and I'll tell you why. Um, what she was talking about in there in this um, comment was the fact that um, she likes my she likes our videos she watches them all the time which I thank her very much for um, I watch her too and that she has you know apologized for all the headache and nightmare that I had to go through for the last year by Tasha and Ines but specifically she mentioned Tasha and um, Basically what she said was, um, I don't know if you guys remember, she had a, she was going to do 
some sort of like a, a partnership with like a newer um, a newer newer vlogger to the community and just kind of like a mentoring situation and they were gonna do like gift exchanges I think or something like that and Tasha was gonna help with that well that never really went anywhere which I could have told her I don't think Tasha has ever given anything to anybody but her friends um, but anyway so she said that um, at one point Tasha went on her Facebook and basically intimidated her and said that um, since she comments on my channel and she watches my channel um, she could not be friends with somebody like that or she could not follow somebody like that or that was unacceptable to her and she basically had to choose or something to that effect I mean I have the screenshot I can um, upload it but I don't think it's really necessary you get the drift so it was about it was a pretty lengthy comment um, so I said well I already knew all this going in I because Tasha had said you know on her own videos that um, and so has Ines if anybody watches somebody that they don't like they don't have to come to that channel which is ridiculous as far as I am concerned this is not Russia this is not China and you are not the kings and the queens of this community I'm sorry it's not happening everybody has a right to their opinion everybody has a right to watch what they like and I think it's appalling that you ask people to to um, choose um, because there are people in this community they that are maybe going through some some issues themselves or maybe they are sick or maybe they have mental issues or you don't we don't ever know what's going on with people and for you to to bully people like that is unacceptable so about um, two or three hours ago all of a sudden Julie from the body cottage her uh, comment is gone completely deleted gone and you can imagine why that is gone um, I only have one thing to say um, she was most likely bullied again and intimidated on Facebook uh, for commenting and she has erased her channel I mean her channel is still there but there's no um, all of her videos are private because she doesn't know what's going to be happening in January and she's going through some issues herself um, uh, and you know she doesn't want the extra drama which you know I can appreciate um, so my question is where does it stop where does the bullying by these people stop and what gives them the right to bully people like that and to intimidate them on other social media platforms because they know they're not going to be able to get away with it here because we all have an, our eye out for them and for their behavior. So they're, they're not going to be doing it here. But they are doing it on Facebook and they are doing it on Instagram. And I think I find that horrid. Uh, and that needs to stop. And um, I will take a look and see what I can do to make this situation stop as far as Facebook is concerned because if Facebook is not doing anything about this type of behavior um, you know there's going to be an issue with Facebook as far as I'm concerned um, these people have no right to bully anybody to do anything and anybody that watches these people and is okay with that you can move along do not watch me do not subscribe to me I want zero to do with you because there is a fine line between having an opinion and being a bully and they have crossed this line several times and I'm over it basically this is a community of women I would say about 95% women and it is supposed to be a hobby um, of collectors doll collectors high-end doll collectors and this is all it the only thing that is supposed to be discussed here is dolls or fun topics or 
of funny things or good ideas and not going after people. Um, and, you know, it, it is just appalling what is going on with these people. And Tasha, I have my eye out on you specifically uh, with your doll selling and buying and selling and buying. You know, yeah, I did see your video about your Liam, you know. First, you know, well, you needed to get another Liam, you were getting another Liam, and then you were gonna sell the old Liam that you had, and then all of a sudden it was like, well, you know, I really like this Liam, you know, I really like him, I really like his hair, yada, yada, yada. You know, just so that you can, you know, like like um, Ines said, you know, it's it doesn't behoove us to make a box opening look like we don't like the dolls because we're not ever gonna get the money that we want for the doll. So it's all about the money with you guys, completely. All about the money. It has nothing to do with the hobby. This is all about money. And um, for all the people out there thinking about buying from any of these people, I would suggest you ask for non-filtered pictures from them and do not pay with PayPal friends and family because this is what's happening because they use filtered pictures use friends and family and then tell you well you saw the pictures you saw what the baby looks like well the, the pictures that they give you are not um, original and they are not unfiltered pictures those are filtered pictures so no you're not getting what you paid for you're getting something completely different so um, do not buy, do not pay via PayPal friends and family and ask for non-filtered pictures from these people. Um, that's just a little warning um, because I've heard from many people on the, in this community so far that have had an issue with these people and how they filter their contents and um, they are all getting not exactly what they were thinking they were getting. And a lot of them, you know, don't want to, they don't have the stomach to go after them. Well, I do. I don't have a problem with it. This is Christmas time and um, you know what? It's time to turn over and leave people. And it goes for Tasha, Ines, Renee, Katie. Um, who else is in there? Kelly. Um, let me think if there's anybody else in there. I think that's about it. If I forgot one, well, I'll think about it later. But, you know, intimidating people on other social platforms not to watch certain people on YouTube is ridiculous. Unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. So that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to keep it short. 13 minutes right now. Um, but I thought this was, was important. Be aware, be vigilant, watch what these people are doing, put two and two together. This, you know, we are not children here. You know, everybody can think for themselves. So if you want to get snowed, that's fine. But at the end of the day, don't, you can't blame anybody because I'm here to warn you all. And so is Shelby, so is Sam, so a lot of people. Um, Julie for Bunny Cottage, try to. And you know a lot of people who are doing it behind the scenes and leaving me messages and I'm not gonna throw them under the bus by revealing who they are but I tell you I have nothing to gain by doing this um, but I am a Christian and I am tired of this complete completely tired of it so this needs to stop so until next time have a happy Sunday night um, be kind to one another and let your love multiply. Talk to you soon. Bye.